Oh. Ha. Um. Pay no attention to that. You didn't see that. That's not happening. Be back. Sorry about that. Man, that invisibility potion was stronger than I thought. Whew. <laughs> Just playing some DRG. Ah, oh, I gotcha. DRG, hold on. Hold on, thought too, because my headphones are like. This game's audio is really loud in the background. I need to turn down just a little bit. Just for a moment, at least until I start playing. What? What is. What is DR? Oh, Deep Park Galactic. Duh. Oh my God. I'm, I'm a dumb. I've, I, I'm a, I'm going to, I'm not going to lie. I, I can't brain today. My brain is shut off today because I had a slightly longer than normal day at work. So I'm a little on the EP side and I'm not, I'm not braining right today. I'm, I'm very unbrained today. So, uh, uh, pardon me if I say anything that's out of whack or um, or if it takes me a minute to like let something sink in I'm in that mode where like I can blink I'm probably blinking both eyes like separate like some like separately so yeah that's how I am right now I'm just kind of Bleh. hello I am semi my name is semi brain no brain today um yeah anyway hi proto <laughs> how you doing i hope you hope you're having a good time and uh speaking of good times i am going in completely blind into this game that we're gonna start today i know about it i know of it oh excuse me oh my god excuse me the hiccups why why do these hiccups want to strike at the wrong time how dare you? Ugh. Right. Well, I was going to say that we're going to be starting a game today that I'm going completely blind into. Uh, of course, you know, you guys know the big two open world games. The, the big two of the many, of course. Um, but there's, you know, the, uh, the Fallout series and there's uh, the Elder Scrolls series, of course. But some of the original minds behind the fallout series were responsible for the game i'm going to be playing today uh working out of obsidian uh entertainment which if you guys know about fallout new vegas then you guys know these guys what these guys are capable of so well let's not dally anymore let's actually go into the game itself this is the outer worlds what I have heard described more or less loosely as Fallout in space, um, which excites me because I mean, I've heard I've heard the sense of humor in this is is amazing, and if the sense of humor in this game is anything like Fallout New Vegas, I'm thrilled. I'm going to be excited. So yeah, I'm like super super psyched for it. All right, let me go turn my headphones back up now. <laughs> nice. All right, let's see if there's any controller compatibility with this game. Oh, look at that. It does. Nice. It immediately knew my controller was in. Right. So again, outside of the premise of the game and the fact that it's another future alt history type of game, kind of like Fallout is, where certain things didn't happen and then certain things did. That's about as much as I know about this game. Oh, uh, let's see. A story, normal. And we said standard health and damage. It's most for players who are looking for an extra challenge. Supernova mode is the hardest difficulty and can only be selected at the start of the game and is recommended for advanced players. Uh. Oh, wow. Enemies have more health and deal more damage. You must eat, drink, and sleep to survive. It's survival mode. Oh, great. Maybe I won't tackle this quite yet. You know what? Let's go hard. Why not? Oh. And do more damage. Uh, 
I don't know how the balance is, but I can always change the difficulty later. So let's start at normal. And if it's too easy, then we'll just go ahead and, and up it. All right. For the sake of the stream, maybe I'll go slightly bigger on the text size just so it's a bit more readable on screen. Is that good? Is that is that good for you guys? Let me know if that's like, let me know if that's good. I mean, I'm sure it's readable either way, but you know, just try to make it a little more, a, a, li a little bit more readable. Let's go with three. Yeah, you know what? I think three is good. Come to Halcyon. Why stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars? Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier owned and operated by corporations. A trip of 10 short years will feel like mere minutes thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. I love the style. You'll in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. Uh-oh. Well, that's not good. Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> Even in the future, nothing works. Hi, Hina. Phineas Vernon Wells, fugitive wants. Oh, oh, hi. Whoa. Hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. I'm guessing you only need one. Oh, hello, here we go. Um Huh. What kind of build do I want to go with? I only have six points to go with. Alright. Let's see here. Me dumb. I'll have to use smaller words around you. <laughs> You're about as subtle as the Spacer's Choice mascot. Oh my god. I wanna know what he says for like each of the... I hope you're ready to shoulder a burden, friend. Slippery fingers. You'll need to be careful handling those chemicals. I'll leave charm for last. I hope you won't yell at me the moment I wake you up. <laughs> you won't be quite so boring after you've saved the entire colony. Oh my god. Some people are rough around the edges. You're serrated. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Well, let's see. Strengths for melee weapons. Do I want to be a melee build or a dexterity build? I feel like ranged weapons are going to be more of my norm in this game, I think? I don't know. I really have, like, no basis for this. Uh, I mean, strength does give me more carry capacity, and carrying capacity means more items. So I better put some into strength. Hmm... skills two-handed let's see here what else do i have here so my natural health regeneration two health per, per second so if i take this away i will not be regenerating health at all great fantastic um no maybe i'll keep charm at average and 
bring te uh, temperament up. Let's see. It's good for critical damage. I could just make a, a complete thug. A, a complete thug the scout, basically. Um, do I want to go that route? Or do I just want to make everything average? I mean... It's as if you're psychologically incapable of feeling anxiety. <laughs> I could do that. And just like absolutely be a a tank. Let's see. I should probably I mean if I'm, if I'm gonna do this. Slippery fingers. You'll need to be careful handling those chemicals. My range weapon reload, reload speed and weapon durability will go down. Oh god! Yeah, no, maybe not. Mmm. I'm not really going to be handling guns, so it looks like the effect of skills doesn't have any melee weapons here for this. Um, you know what? Let's take down this one a little bit. If I had your brains 30 years ago, we might not be in this mess. <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay, so strength is high. Lots of melee damage, lots of carrying capacity. That'll be good. Um... Good regeneration and decent intelligence, which I really don't really need, but the critical, more critical damage would be good. I could use more critical chance though. Hmm. What way to go? Which to extra headshot weak spot damage? Huh. Okay, so temperance for two-handed melee. Strength affects one-handed and two-handed, plus heavy weapons. Okay, so I mean, I'd be okay there. <laughs> uh, do I want to go ahead and do some dexterity? You know what, let's do a little bit of dexterity. And then... Oh, do I want to do this? Uh... God, the choices! The choices! Someone made a note that you're oblivious to flirtation. <laughs> oh my god. Negative 100% bonus extra head uh, to extra. Oh my god. Headshot and weak spot hits do not inflict extra damage. <laughs> oh no. That'll be a massive downturn. That's all right, friend. I'll be the brains for both of us. Critical head damage is drastically reduced. Words are hard. Thinking no good. Dumb dialogue options unlocked. <laughs> I, I did say I wasn't very going to be very thinky brain today, but you know what? I think I might want to do a little bit of that. Okay, I think we're good. Uh, what do you think? What do you guys think? What do you think, Wackus Bunkus? Oh, I get skill points. Oh my god, this reminds me of Shadowrun. Except that there is no like way to up the base skill like defense. Like in Shadowrun, you could actually you'd actually be able to up your dialogue or like stealth, and then each of the like the trees or the branches underneath, you could uh up it even more. You could basically give yourself mastery. Um uh, so, let's see, my one-handed and two-handed melee are good enough. Block is great, so that's going to be great. Um, Man, these are all, like, decent already. Like, all the ones that I really want for this build. Heavy weapons. I mean, I guess I better put one up in block. Oh, I see. Points, points placed in a, a core skill will increase specialized skills. 
up to rank 50. After 50, you can add points directly to specialized skills. Oh, I see. Good. I need someone who can smack a little sense into this colony. No, I don't want to do that. I do want to. Reflexes of a bristling canid. I do want to do that. And improve companion health and their abilities in combat. Mm, knowledge of bodies, tools, and the universe. Stealth. Do I want to be sneaky? Do I want to be talky? Uh, maybe. Good. I need someone who can smack a little sense into this colony. Yeah, you don't want us to do that. Aptitude. Let's see. <laughs> the Halcyon colony need good needs good people, but it will settle for one so it can mix a memorable drink. As a human cocktail shaker, you've made concoctions that could end wars or fuel skip drives. You're still trying to balance out the flavors of a truly sick troll fashion, though. Bureaucrat rank zero, cashier, construction, elevator. Let's see, what, what do we have? We have a lot of like different <laughs> chair sanitation class. Medical technician, safety inspector. Uh, scientist assistant, level zero, class A. Sub sous chef. <laughs> the hierarchy of a modern kitchen is a ladder of many rungs. Your role as assistant to the second deputy chef's aide is one of middling distinction, but you are honored to pour your heart into the ritual emptying of grease pans and the backbreaking labor of gravy restoration. You're holding out for that advancement to poultry inspection, which is due any year now. A sub sous chef. Oh my God, it's basically your dishwasher. Oh my goodness. Let's see, I can get some more Dodge factory worker. Uh, the universe operates on laws, and laws require paperwork. Halcyon is no exception. If something isn't stamped, filed, unfiled, referenced, redacted, certified, indexed, and numbered, then it might as well not exist. Birth certificates included. <gasps> Holy shit, I love these. I love these so much. These are great. Um, you know what? This will give me more block. I do wonder uh, if this will come up like in, in conversation too. Uh, safety and efficiency don't always go hand in hand, which is why so many of your co-workers at the factory were amputees. God damn it. That's a, that's a good good one. Uh, you survived the trenches of the assembly line long enough to know when a hydraulic press just wants to pancake some fingers. Thankfully, you managed to keep all of yours. All right. I think I'm going to be a bureaucrat. I'm going to be a bureaucrat in space. I hope you're not going to demand a receipt. All right, let's see here. Ah, yes. Let's see. What kind of starting faces do we have? That's not me at all. It's kind of me, kind of, you know, doughy. You know, got a good little, little meat around, around the cheeks there. We'll keep that one in mind. Eh, too squarish. Uh, too much cheekbone. Mmm. No. I uh, know cheekbones. That just looks like a porcelain doll. That just something about this one. I mean, you know, I granted this is a character creator, but something about this one just looks absolutely artificial. Like it's almost too perfect. I don't know what it is. Hello, I am bureaucrat level zero. I am delighted to meet you. I just, no, I just can't. No. Okay, which one was this? The one I was thinking. Um. Yeah, I think it's a good starting point. Now let's get my skin tone right. I always like to make myself in games just to see. Just to see what kind of abuses I could put myself through. Uh, I'm not that dark. I'm about there, I think. Yeah, that's about right. 
I think that's... Putting my hand up against the screen. Yeah, I actually am kind of less red and more yellowish. Uh, is there a yellow dark? Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, maybe, maybe. You know what? Let's go with that for now. Okay, the hair is bugging me. I need to get the hair right, like... Oh, God damn it. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, good. I kept my I kept my choices. Good, 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 good. Customize your character. Don't be shy. I love that. Okay, I need to change the hair first. Cause it, the hair is just bugging the hell out of me. <laughs> this is going to be the first hour of the stream. It's just going to be me fiddling with this. I love these hairstyles. That's that's so generic. That's me in the morning. Good God. And no. Kind of. Oh, I don't have a ponytail ish, though. I mean, if it was less like. If it was less like tightly curled, probably. Also, that is some like serious like shine going on. No. <laughs> Maybe I might, even though it's not my hair, I might consider that one. Uh. Okay, we're getting into some, some big hair now. <laughs> Father, Father, I'm going into space. Papa, Papa. Oh, that's that's like. Hey. Either that's either a space pirate or or space gale. Just feed me a necklace and I'll be fine. Yeah, you know what? That that's not bad. I mean, it's not exact, but Jesus, stuck my finger in a light socket. Um, God, this is hard. Why is character creation always so hard? Oh no, not really. Ah, uh, oh, oh. I mean, I could rock that actually. I don't know if I can rock that. That's a lot of forehead. That is a that is a five head. That's just, that's not even a five. That's like an eight head right there. I mean, I could go with my my lopped off all my hair look. <laughs> yeah, there's no hair color for this. That works. What about my eyebrows? Do they have like ah aha? Yes, they do. Bushy, angry looking eyebrows. I do have those swooshy eyebrows like that, like where it goes up and then down again. Facial hair. Yes, I love the mustache. Mustache. Um, is there not just like a. I mean, I guess I could do that. But the beard part is too long. It's almost, it's it's a little shorter than what I am right now. I've got like the beard of the gods right now. I've got like big dwarven beard going on. Yeah, I don't know if I think he he has like told me that she has never seen me like like actually without a beard of any sort. See, now I don't want this hairstyle. Now I actually want a regular hairstyle. That copper tone's gonna have to go though. You know what? I could probably hang on. I it's gotta be one with like a forward. You've seen me without a beard? Oh, okay. Have I? Have I actually like shaved my whole beard off? <laughs> God, this hairstyle. <laughs> I almost want to keep it even though it's not like <laughs> shaved off. Oh, you're right. I hit it. I did. I almost, I almost didn't rem remember doing that. Wee! I'm just kind of spinning them around while I'm looking at different hairstyles. I feel like I'm right back to this one again. I mean, I guess I could do that. You know what? Let's find a... It's kind of bluish, isn't it? Like, it's not exactly black. It's kind of more blue. You know what? 
that could do it. That that'll work. Yeah, there we go. Now we're getting some Sammy action here. That's more Sammy. All right, I'm not the eye color. Um, actually, that's about right, honestly. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, got to make them slightly bigger and then less. Oh, that too close, too close. Bring them apart a little bit. Yeah, yeah, you know what? That's that's it. Honestly, that's actually not bad. Hey, I forgot the cheeks a little bit because I got some I got some cheeks. All right. Now that nose does have to be a little, a little bigger. And not so high up. Well, well, mm, it's wider, but the, it's not quite, well, well. Okay, you know what, you know what? I'm not gonna obsess over the nose. I'm not going to obsess over it. Oh my god, this is the first time I've actually seen a game that where age actually has a like a saggy effect. Oh man. Okay. All right, I dig. Let's go about maybe a bit there. Yeah, I think that's a bit good. Yeah, yeah, that's a that's about Sammy enough. That's about as, as Sammy as I could probably get with this game. Oh, what a handsome dude. What do you think, guys? What do you think? Let's let's do a little slow turn. What do you think of this handsome dapper fellow? Yeah? Yeah, is this a is this a proper Sammy? Is this a good Sammy? Is this a good heroic Sammy? Wee. And you too can have your own Sammy for ninety-three billion dollars. Call today. Okay, we're good. <laughs> What's your name? Snoop Doggy Dog. My name is. Why can't I type it? Hello, I can't type my name. Oh. Probably because I have to actually click on it. I am Sammy. Sammy. Perfect. Next. All right. This is our build. This is what we're doing. <laughs> ah, all right. So we got some good one-handed and two-handed. I got decent heavy weapons. Good dodge. Decent block. A oh, really good do uh, block. Okay, medical. Oh. Just go out. Uh, oh, five for hibernation suit. Oh, okay. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Well, here we go. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Oh, that's bad. Whatever's happening is bad. Oh, get that curse out of the way. Not likely, bootlickers. Uh oh. Initiate skip jump. We made it! We escaped! Terra 2 Orbiting Laboratory Halcyon System. Oh, that shit got fucked up. Our down to 
<clears throat> wow, that sounds bad. Am I awake? Oh, the pod's open. Ah, there you are. Wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on the Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Oh, joy! Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Oh, God damn it! Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! Wait, what? <laughs> oh, here he goes again. So is he just, did he just like eject me? <laughs> Wee! Did I just get ejected into space? It's like, hey, you're alive, you're awake. Uh, I need you to save people. Off you go. Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. And not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. Oh, great. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm all the colonists are counting on you. No pressure. I just woke up from cryogenic sleep and I'm already going to save a world. Ah, you've landed good. Hawthorne should be close by. What in law's name? Is that him? Oh, that's oh no! Dead. I told him to plant the beacon. <laughs> Not stand there holding it. <laughs> oh, well. No sense in letting his ship go to waste. Oh no! Anyway. Oh, I don't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. Oh. Well, um, Reese's Pieces, dude. Oh, this is cool. I love the look of this already. All right, well, shit. Um, I didn't expect my cock. It seems crushed by a sudden turn of events. <laughs> I'd say it was a smashing turn of events, but, uh, I guess it kind of was, really, wasn't it? Just kind of looking around to make sure I'm not missing anything. Uh, can I do, I, do I get a weapon? I feel like I'm not safe here. I don't know what gives you that impression, but I feel like I'm not safe. Oh, okay. Wee. I got hops. <gasps> Hi. Oh, look at you. Oh no, get back here. Oh, oh, you're Okay, okay, I'll just follow you in a second. In a moment, I'll follow you in just a second. We know where Hawthorne lands still on a whole stash of past friends. <laughs> Hard smash. 
Oh, aren't you so cute? Oh my god, I want to pet you. Can I pet you? No, get back here. Get back here and let me love you. God damn it. Fine. I'm just gonna go run over here. Fuck you. Fuck you, then. <laughs> Hard smash. Oh, hello. Uh. How do I? Oh, I see. Okay. What's in the pot? I thought I had to sneak past. I'm gonna sneak up and then initiate combat. I mean, I'm not really sneaking up on anything right now, it feels like. Oh, oh, yes, I am. Oh, holy shit. Um. Uh, 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 I'm not here. I'm not here. You don't see me. I'm feeling that cute little thing as a big scary thing as a parent. You really? I'm not here. <laughs> I'm not here. You can't see me. I'm just gonna. Uh oh. Uh oh. Get in the grass. Get in the grass. Get in the grass. Okay. Okay. I'm good. I'm good. I'm calm. I'm calm. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Just, just stay over there. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Good, Canid. Yes, yes, fine. Oh. Stop perceiving me! Get away! No! Eh. Alright, cool. What is that sound? Hello! Excuse me? What just happened? I just went all like Samus for a second there. Hi. Hello. Be my friend. No. No. Be my friend. Oh, god damn. Fuck you guys then. Okay. Okay. Ah! That's not what I wanted to do. Ow. Oh, I guess this was supposed to happen. All right. Oh, hello. This is all wrecked. Is there anything I can get here? Oh! Someone's here. Hey, you. Come here. You've tried the best now. Now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stings. I'm sorry, what? Oh, we're all part of the Spacer's Choice family here. Not that I deserve to be. Can't even deliver a company slogan. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired. Right through my side. I mean... What are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Um. I'm sorry, what was this about marauders? Gibbering, flesh-eating, law-breaking, unemployed lunatics with guns. Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Yeah, but wouldn't you take yourself out at the same time? I mean, I'm just saying, Space's Choice? Are they compared, compared to Sam's Choice brand? <laughs> which is funny because this, this edition of the game is called a Space's Choice Edition, which has, like, extra DLC and stuff like that. Also, it's not my choice. It was never my choice. They lied. I did not choose that. Fucking 
Mountain Lightning and Dr. Thunder. Who the hell calls it? Anyway, let's see here. Uh, someone grounded their ship illegally? I, no. Got a better idea. Give me your gun and I'll go get help. Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. I'm not counting the bullet in my side. All Spacer's choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's choice. I'm sorry, you tried the best, now try the rest? <laughs> I like this guy. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh my god. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Oh my god. I, where am I? Can you tell me where I am? You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Uh, be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous Saltuna. God, this guy's a walking commercial. He's walking corporate. Uh, <clears throat> what do you know? Yeah, what do you know anything about the Hope? The ship that I was on? The one I left? The one where everybody was frozen? The Hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with Auntie Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. Uh, you know what? Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and just leave. Thanks, dude. Wait, can I patch him up? It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's choice. Oh, uh, well, I guess I can't patch him up anymore. Ooh, stuff. Free sliced bread. Man, that's the best. Fast ration pill. Okay. Tartarus sauce. All right. I got to try to not be like Snowy and not try to pick up everything that's bol or that's not bolted down. All right. What else is in here? <laughs> I say that and then I start scrounging around for stuff. All right, well. <sighs> Damn it, my ears! Oh, oh, what just happened? Can you hear me? What in the hell? This. I'm not gonna shoot the little things. I don't want to shoot them. They're so cute. Initial complications detected. Tactical time dilation? Oh, it's like the VAT system, I think. Due to complications stemming from being revived after an extended hibernation, your brain processes time differently. Pressing the tactical time dilation button slows down the world, giving you time to think as well as take action. Yep, it's it's pretty much VATS. You have a limited time in this mode. Standing still drains your TTD meter very slowly, while moving and attacks drain it faster. Uh, the meter refreshes slowly over time. Okay. Oh, okay. I hear you. I hear you and I too don't like to be here. Oh, hi. Hey, tell me that it sounds like something exploded next to you. Oh, hi! Ah! Maybe I should... Maybe I should have taken some skill in handguns. Maybe. Shush! Stop screeching at me. All right, give me whatever you had. Cool. I'll take that to you. I'll take up some fish sticks. What is screeching at me? What? I hear you. Oh, I see. Are you okay? Uh-huh. 
Do you need help, little buddy? Are you okay there? You kind of stuck in the rock there. Um. You know what? I'm just gonna leave you there. You can just stay there. Just, just hang out. I can pick in locks. Uh, letter, 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 letter. Bagpicks are used to break open locks, and bypass shunts are used to break. Okay. Uh, okay. Well. Okay, I gotta get used to the fact that X is to pick things up. All right, sure, let's find, let's find out how to do this. So we giblets. Well, now I need to, oh, that's not, where's my inventory screen? Is this weapon management? You have up to four weapons equipped at a time by navigating to the weapon. Selecting the weapon slot. Yeah, excuse me. On this page, you can also inspect your weapons. Yada yada yada. Take care of your TNL weapons, and they'll take care of your enemies. Okay. What a snazzy suit. Why is there? Why are there so many like ropes and cords? What is going on here? That is a lot of that. That's a lot of a uh, lot of dangly bits there. All right. I mean. Yeah. Let's see. Now, I do have a good skill in one-handed. But apparently, I also have a good skill in two-handed. Let's see. Well, I mean, I can equip both. So... Now... How do I? That's not what I wanted. I didn't want to waste that. Now, how do I... How do I switch weapons? Oh, I can hold that to put my gun down at least. Um, huh, okay. Uh, let's compare ours to inspect. Trying to figure out how to switch weapons. That's my time dilation. Uh, you know what? I'll figure it out. Actually, I can just do this. Hang on, guys. I need to check something really quick. Button layout. There we go. All right. Which one of you is to switch a weapon? Next weapon. Oh, it's Y. Oh. Ah. Okay, that's block. Got it. Okay. Okay, I think I'm ready. Let's go shank some people. All right. Anybody else? Oh, oh, hi. Oh, it makes it harder for me to hit them, too, if I'm in tall grass. Okay. Oh, no, thank you. I think I, I'd rather not. Nailed. Uh, you have luck. Perfect blocks. Hey, awesome. I'll take that and that and that. Thank you. And got somebody else over here somewhere, didn't I? Or was he further out? Let's see, was this guy here? There was somebody I shanked over here. Wasn't there somebody else? I thought it were three people. Did I lose a third body? Like, am I am I stupid? 
I mean, I am stupid, but you know. I am the dumb. Okay, hold on. Let me retrace my steps here. So, I started here. I sneaked through the grass. I shanked a poor dude. I shot somebody over there. Ow! There we go. Got it. Got it. it appears there was nobody at all. And nobody appeared. This is kind of nice because I can actually see things moving while I'm hiding in the grass, which is great. Anyone? Anyone? Nope. Okay. Cool. The one thing that this does separate this from, like, say, Fallout or Skyrim is that you could search plants for, for items and stuff like that. But in this one, like, so far I haven't seen anything I can physically search as far as plant life, plant life and stuff. Hey, get over here before you get yourself killed. Oh, okay. Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Go <laughs> on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official spacer's choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. I... I mean, there's worse things. Uh, yeah, so I heard. I found one of your teammates holed up in a cave. Really? How is he? <laughs> Bleeding and delirious, but still kicking. Well, that's a relief. You don't want to know how much paperwork's involved in paying off a gravesite fee. Ouch! I'll see him back to Edgewater. Just as soon as I cross these marauders <clears throat> off with the swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Spacer's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense. Ugh! Just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs, son. <laughs> uh huh. Grace, I feel sound like a real killer. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like you'll really be buried in them. Uh, shoot, I have an ad starting, so while we're here, let's go ahead and take a quick break. Uh, let the ad play, and then we'll come back. Go get a drink, go get a snack, whatever you need. We'll be right back, as Hina says. Whew. Man, I'm so a little tired, but I think this game is starting to energize me a little bit. I do like the subtle humor in this in this game so far. The whole like corporate speak thing, the fact that they're all pretty much walking commercials for their corporation. I gotta, I gotta say I dig it so far. Now, I mean, if you guys have been around my channel for a while, you guys know that I'm normally not like a big game person. I mean, I like playing big games, AAA titles and whatnot, but the channel itself is for the most part dedicated to like smaller games and indie games and stuff like that. So this is a little different. I know the last couple times I feel like I've been playing big games though. I mean, it was what? Yakuza Like a Dragon last time, uh, one of the times, not last time, but like a few sessions ago. Um, it was something else recently too. I can't remember what it is. I, I feel like I've been playing a couple more like AAA titles lately than I'm normally used to. Don't know what that says about my channel right now, so... Strider, but I... Mm, but is Strider... I mean, I love Strider, don't get me wrong. It's definitely a, a game from a AAA company. Yeah, you know what? I guess that counts. It does count, because it is a game from Capcom, which is a AAA company. Even if it's not, like, an actual, like... I know, like, how do I... How do, how do I... How do we consider that? Is Strider a tech, uh, AAA title or not? Or is it a smaller title from a AAA story? Maybe A to, a to AA. You know what? Fair. Fair. Uh, which, by the way, I will be getting back to Strider and I will be doing some Bloodstained again soon. Uh, I, I have a lot of games I need to get back to. And, uh, but as I've said in a previous video, I have changed my focus from trying to beat games on stream to uh, basically just giving you the first couple hours, though there might still be some exceptions here and there. 
Also, I definitely want to see what's going on with being able to stream with my Switch because I hate that my audio gets crunchy whenever I try to stream off of it. And I hate that because I can't do stuff like I can't jump back into Splatoon 3 on stream. And I hate that. I love Splatoon 3. Just because it's not one of the first characters you think about when you hear Capcom. Yeah, that's fair. It used to be. Like, that was one of their marquee characters. But I think in the post Street Fighter 2 days, it's really been Ryu and... I mean, yeah, pretty much the Street Fighter crew. You know, it's not a lot of... <clears throat> not a lot of other characters you think about when you when you think Capcom now. I mean, maybe, you know, some of the Darkstalkers characters, too. But... Very fair. Very fair. <clears throat> Which... Jeez, uh, sorry. I gotta drink some more water here. Give me a second. I must hydrate. Ah. Ah. Sorry, that didn't sound very good. I was just chugging. Uh, Capcom, you think Street Fighter, then maybe Mega Man, people of that nature. Yes, and I feel like there are companies that, a lot of companies that have that. I mean, Capcom, you have you have those. Uh, who was it for Namco? Namco, of course, you know, Pac-Man and probably the Tekken series. I'm trying to think. Uh, why are you switching on your crunchy bag cabling? No, it's something's happening where my audio is fine when I when I uh, try to put my headset on, when I try to put my headphones on, and I try to play my Switch. But the minute I try to go live with streaming, it goes to shit. It just it starts stuttering really bad with the audio. It's like it's like the latency on the audio ramps up. Uh, could be the cords. Yeah, we did. Hina and I did try it out. If I go corded with the, if I go corded with my headphones, I'm okay. But if I stay wireless, that's when the issue happens. And I also tried switching headphones to my older headphones, which were really, really good for, for streaming. And even those are having trouble too. So yeah, maybe it's an OBS setting or something. That's, I'm thinking that too, and I'm trying to fiddle with those. But uh, Hina at least had a workaround, which is I, if I wanted to stream off the Switch, I could just go, I could just plug an audio patch cable into my headphones and plug that into like a headphone jack and I'm still okay. So I just want to be able to play wireless without having to worry about pulling my headphone cord out. So <laughs> I'm just being a baby about it. But I guess, I mean, I, I will get back into like some sw switch streaming, especially because I want to, I want to play like Splatoon 3 on stream. I want to play Unicorn Overlord on stream, which by the way, if you guys have not played Unicorn Overlord and you guys are strategy fans, it is wickedly good. It is insanely good. I mean, it's vanillaware at their finest. The character designs are really cool. The strategy, if you like old school Ogre Battle from the SNES, you will love Unicorn Overlord because it does have the similar uh, a similar style as far as the semi real time strategy going on, uh, but it goes into like turn based battles after uh, when when enemies meet. Anyway, it, the style is great, G absolutely worth getting, one hundred percent worth getting. Uh, but I am just kind of dilly dallying around, so let's go ahead and get back into the game. We left Cap. We left. I want to say Captain Mercer. I spoiled myself on Unicorn Overlord. I watched the potential wife proposals, and since then, I lost the urge to play sad times. Oh, no. That's okay. You know what? It happens. But the game, the story itself is still cool. Like, I feel like there's nothing really... How do I put this? So far, there's no, like, real shocks to the story itself. It seems really cut and dry so far. Um, But, you know, that might change. <laughs> all right, I saw all the romances. I'm good. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> oh man, I, I'm actually speaking of romances. I'm totally looking and Hina's super dying, like waiting for uh, the new Dragon Age. And then also, uh, what's the game that's coming out? Um, Metaphor, Metaphor of Fantasio. I'm stuck for that sometimes. <laughs> but yeah, Hina's like, like salivating over Dragon Age and, and Metaphor, the game that's being done by the 
the Persona series developers. No one will ever see me again. No, we can't have you hiding. We can't have you being being a hermit, Hina. No. I'll miss you all. <laughs> Mourn her loss. Mourn, Hina. It's okay. We got months before she'll disappear. So. I forget when, when Metaphor comes out. I think I think it's September, right? And then Dragon Age, like, the month after that. So, yeah. the Near the end of the month is... Or September, October is going to be... Um, I'm probably not going to see her for a while. So Dragon Age 3 kind of pushed me away from the game. I don't know what it is, but I didn't finish DA3 and I don't have the urge to pick it back up. You know what? Fair. I, I love Dragon Age 3, but I actually stopped playing it about halfway through. And I just never got the urge to like jump back into it. It's not that it's a bad game. I love the game, but I just... Once I got to a certain point in the game, I was like, eh, I'm cool, you know? <clears throat> Oh, Rick, you're going to hate me because I loved the first one and I love the combat of the second one, but I just feel like the story just, I just wanted to strangle some of the, a lot of the characters in D8 too. I really did. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go ahead and go back into the game while you guys are having your dra Dragon Age discussion. Um... Yeah, but like I said, like this, the combat was great. It's just the story was like, eh. All right, we left Lieutenant Mercer hanging for a while. She's just kind of been like going, okay, are you going to say something? Is this guy going to just stare at me all day? Um, I don't know. Do I want to be like a, like a whole ass or, oh, my controller turned off. There we go. <laughs> I bet you could get these marauders to tell you where the owner of that ship is. She's kind of cute. So worthy indeed. You know what? I, I agree. I don't, I, I gotta say that the character models in this game are pretty good for a game that came out. I think what 20, I want to say it was 2019 originally. And then spacious choice edition just came out last year, but I don't know if this is the result of the special edition or if the character models always look like this since, you know, the original edition. But they're pretty good. I'm so excited. I know, same here. I'm so excited for Tevinter. Oh my god. Uh <laughs> Intimidate, guess I'll have to give you a zero on my customer satisfaction survey. Seriously? But those marauders will <sighs> You know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. That's right, you do that. Yeah, there we go. You guys are gonna die, but you know what? It's gonna be a risk I'm willing to take. Oh, okay. Wow, did they actually take down the Marauders? <laughs> Holy shit! Hey! Cool! I... <laughs> well, that worked! Jesus Christ, I made them pissed off and they just like... You might have to make Bridget? Oh my god, dude, that would be so cool! I absolutely give you full permission to make Bridget. Now, hopefully you can get a good, like, British accent. Um voice like hopefully they have multiple voices where you can choose from was that it was it just a marauder and like one can there's got it there had to be more than that really oh oh you're the, okay you're my you're my ally cool okay well this is gonna take a lot of paperwork <laughs> but it was fun wasn't it uh, all right. I feel like that was just kind of anticlimactic. But it was fun. Well, let's see this new ship. Oh. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. <laughs> the unreliable. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, this is huge. Intruders are not authorized to access the unreliable's amenities, including the cargo hold's workbench. Marauder, please be informed that ignoring me is dangerous for your health. Uh, okay. I'll get to that workbench in a second. Let me just see what else is around here. Ooh, what are you? A toss ball stick. Sweet. Don't know what that's for, but I'll take it. This kind of reminds me of the cargo hold from, uh, from the Serenity and Firefly. And I know that this game took some inspiration. For my surveillance device, Marauder. I am tracking your every move. Da 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 There. Is that enough? You getting some good footage? Yeah? Yeah, you like that? You like this shit? Yeah? Okay, cool. Unauthorized access of spacefaring vessels is a crime. Please submit yourself to the authorities. What if I don't wanna? Hello, Marauder. I am Ada, the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. I'm not a Marauder, though. Please be informed that I am authorized to <clears throat> use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. I. I... <laughs> What are you going to do? Self-destruct? <laughs> I better not tempt her. She might actually do that. Uh, I'm not here to misappropriate anything. I detect an elevated heart rate, indicating dishonesty. Please prepare yourself for lethal deterrence. Genesis I'm sorry, what? Disengaging airlocks. Prepare to reject all boarding parties in five, four, three, two, one. Um, <laughs> you realize we're on the ground, right? You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. <laughs> I have been to express disappointment. Uh, is this Hawthorne ship? This vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than... Captain Alex uh, that Hawthorne. might be a problem. Uh, your captain's a red smear under my escape pod. Uh, Hawthorne said, I'm sorry. Hawthorne was supposed to be when I landed. I understand. <clears throat> I will require some time to process this information. Oh, I made the robot for sad. And for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Uh... I see. Yep, yep. So, as far as you're concerned, I'm Captain Hawthorne. Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. Unfortunately, our engine is... What a workaround! Our main drive suffered a critical power failure and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. Oh my god. That is so funny. That's so funny that, that the AI is like, listen, I can work with this if you want to just lie about your identity. Astutely observed. However, the probability of <coughs> within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge <laughs> identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the unreliable. Do you understand? <laughs> Captain Hawthorne of the Unreliable. I like it. Thank you. I appreciate your cooperation. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. 
Try to stay alive this time. That is so funny. Oh my god. I don't know why I found it so like fucking hilarious. It's hey, the ship is only gonna take orders from Captain Hawthorne. So uh do you mind being Captain Hawthorne? I can't really move unless you're Captain Hawthorne. <laughs> I love that. Congratulations, you have gained enough experience to go up a level. Yay! Open your character ledger to advance your character. Well. Let's do it. Onto Cleo management training. Skill improvements. Every time you level up, you earn skill points to spend on improving your skills. Spending a skill point on a core skill improves all of the special... Yeah, okay, we already know that. After 50, you can add points directly to it. Okay, every skill improves as it grows, but special unlock bonuses occur every 20 points. I saw that. Armor consumables and status effects can temporarily raise and lower your skills. Uh, this helps or hurts skill checks, uh, but won't take away, or, but won't give or take away the skill unlocks. I see. So my natural unlocks will still be there, but if I use an item that takes my skill under 20, I don't lose the unlock, even if the score itself is temporarily uh, lowered. Work diligently, improve yourself, and you too can achieve middle management. Joy. Oh, I got 10 points. Hell yes. All right, well, let's see here. Um. Well, I guess I better put some points in the ranged. That's for sure. All right, what else do we need? Oh, the hibernation suit gives me a bonus to medical science and engineering. That's cool. Well, I was using the intimidate option, so let's go ahead and get a couple of those. God, I have so many skills to use. What do I want to use? Let's definitely pull up melee. Um, Definitely defense. Okay. I think the first few levels it's going to be spread out a little bit. Then I'm going to start like focusing more. Um, let's put a point in stealth and a point in leadership. Apply. Uh, melee power attacks. By holding the attack button, you charge up an overhead power attack. Thing. Oh. Uh, doing this charge up during a standard attack will prepare a strong sweep attack. That can hit multiple enemies. Nice. Company power is not to be wasted on personal projects. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, item repair. Yada, yada, yada. Repair an item repair to 100% durability. I can repair weapons and armor at a workbench using weapon armor parts. Get them for breaking down unwanted items. Oh, cool. Okay. Players with engineering skill can repair their gear without need of a workbench. Do I have engineering skill? I don't know, actually. Are any of the guns, like... Are any of these going to be different in any way, shape, or form? Like, are we talking, like, regular Fallout rules for, for weaponry? Or are we looking at more, you know, like, regular Fallout type of rules? Where everything that has the same name is has the same stats? Also, can I do a wield? Oh man, I can't. Oh, it's a two-handed weapon. I don't need another one though. Okay, hold on. Let's start breaking some of this stuff down so I can have materials. Okay, 91 versus 73. Oh, oh, I see. Let's go ahead and do that. And then I'm gonna break you down. All right. How do I know durability? Where's durability? Where is the durability? I mean, I see a little wrench icon. I'm guessing that's the durability. Okay, you know what? Cool. Quickly double click jump when moving forward to so leap forward. Great for quickly closing distance on enemies. Oh, cool. 
The navigation console is offline at this time, Captain. Thanks, Ada. Alright, well, let's get to the workbench and see what I can do. It does sound like I do need to repair some of my stuff. I mean, I just got the sawed off shotgun. Is in need of repair or modification. Yes, yes, need to repair, break it down for parts. Oh, or modify it, okay. Well, let's see here. What's the icon on the side? I wish I... Install mod. Do I have a mod? I don't have any mods yet. Okay. But... Let's see. I do need to repair this one, right? Is that how that works? Oh, I see. Okay, I I didn't see the menu up top. Repair. Here we go. Uh, I don't have enough weapon parts to repair that. Oh, okay. So that wrench icon is a durability. Cool. Hmm. I thought I broke this down already. Okay, good. Now I can repair the shotgun. Wow, is that 5%? Yikes. Repair this item. And none of this other stuff really needs repair. I mean, that one's down to 68%, but... All right. I have armor, right? Oh, have I not been equipping the armor? Oh, crap. Uh, Here we go. Never can see that one selected. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Combination suit. Oh, tech skills go five. That's what it is. I got plus five. Stealth skills plus five, though. Ooh. This one point more of armor, too. I mean... I mean... It's not as snazzy as all it's not as snazzy as all the hoses and stuff. My plug suit, you know? Get in the get in the robot, Shinji. Yeah, you know what? I'll take the one one point more of, of stealth. Okay, this is my items. Weapon parts. Okay, so that's what I use. Got it, got it. My ID. I am Captain Hawthorne. Okay, and this is all the rest of the stuff. Oh, I see. So I can, I just junked basically a pistol. Cool. Okay. All right. I'm good. I have no feet. All right. So let's see what's up here because I haven't looked at the top part of the ship. Due to catastrophic power failure, all doors will remain on security lockdown. Oh man. All right, I bet I better go get the power quickly. These are the crew's quarters. Alex preferred to travel alone, but he always had me. What's in the fridge? Anything in the fridge? I mean, it's not the. Ugh. I was gonna say it's not the worst kitchen, but it's kind of a mess. Algae logger, my favorite. These surveillance devices allow me to monitor you constantly. Please ignore them. It's not creepy at all. No, it's not creepy. What are you reading? Oh, right. Well, I mean, it doesn't seem like there's anything. Games? That's a lot going on here. 
Um, you know what? I'm not going to ask. Okay, well, I guess I can just get off the ship and then go do my thing. All right. The ship's engines cannot be powered until a replacement regulator has been properly installed. All right. Well, that's where I need to go is go get a new power regulator, looks like. So. No time like. Want to be a brand new you? Try out our respecification machine. Alex installed it himself. Right before he died. Yeah, thanks for rubbing it in. So, is this how I can change? Oh, yeah, it's a respec. Okay. No, no, I don't want to respec right now. I don't think I can anyway. I don't think I have enough uh, ability points. But that's cool. Alright. Well, I guess we better go after the camp, the Marauder camp, and go get some power. Oh, wait. Did I equip my sh my shotgun? I didn't. I did not. Also, I didn't get my perk. Oops. Welcome to the perk selection. On this screen, you can choose which perks to buy with your perk points. Perk points! <clears throat> you get a new perk point to spend every two levels. You can also acquire perk points through gameplay, such as by accepting a flaw. Acquiring five new perks makes the new... Uh, oh, I see. All right, <clears throat> what kind of perks can I get? For a base health, it would, will probably be really good. Man, I only get one point though, so I gotta make this good. <clears throat> Strider. Can I can I swing a sword really fast? Sprint speed, weapon armor durability loss. Crit chance, science weapon magazines, damage for. Oh no. Uh, oh, that would be good. You have base armor rating, which also adds to any armor you wear. So I could be like unarmored and still have five base rating. That'd be good. Quick into dead. 50% tactical time dilation recharge. That is. That would be really cool, but I haven't been using it a lot yet. You become very efficient at transporting goods. Maybe you should have been born a cargo hunter. Unlock the ability to fast travel when encumbered. <gasps> yes! I'm absolutely getting that. Do you know how useful that is? Like in some games, you can't fast travel if you're encumbered. If you're like way down, you're screwed. But... Being able to like fast travel when I'm weighed down by by stuff, that's good. That is so good. All right, I'm ready. Cool. Okay. All right, let's do this thing. Say, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, mister, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. I'm afraid we gotta dock your pay. <laughs> do you take down payments and wants and violence? Um... I'm a starship safety inspector. Oh, by the law. I'm so sorry. I had no idea we had an inspector coming. If you'd like to speak with my manager, I'd report to Constable Reyes in Edgewater. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. <laughs> I'm a ship inspector. As far as they're concerned. Just remember with how good that sounds and you sound awfully excited by it. Keeping up with your stuff to where you're rarely overloaded could save you those points to put somewhere else. Yes. Yes. But what if I'm in the middle of somewhere and I really need to like take some stuff back? What if I decide I'm going to be a really bad hoarder? 
which usually happens in these kind of games with me. <laughs> yes, Rick, but what if stuff? <laughs> All right. Oh, who are you? I smell blood. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be yours. Dead. You spelled wrong. Now give me your shit. Oh, okay. Give me your shit. Who else was here? There was somebody else. Or was that the third guy? Was this number three? Were you? Nope, you're a resident, so. Man, I keep losing people. Oh, found you. Got it. Thank you for your stuff. Now then. Hello. Oh, that's so pretty. Holy crap. Oh. I'm a sucker for sci-fi. I love this game already. Oh, this game is really, it's it really just beautiful. Hello. Wait, is that where I have to go get? Oh, okay. Okay. Well, I don't want to go there yet. I don't think. How's my health? Where's my health? Oh, there's my health. Okay. Oh, what's that over there? Oh, it's a ship. Okay. I don't know if I want to go there yet, though. God, I just want to look at the... Oh. Get out of my face. Oh, my God. This looks amazing. Oh, okay. Let me not, like, get lost in the view too much. It's just... This is really cool. Really good, do really good draw distance, too. Oh, I should probably put my gun away. Don't be alarmed. Whoa, hey. Where'd you come from? Running around in a marauder's attire. Mm, you're liable to give some people the wrong idea. It's in poor taste. Dressing up like a marauder is disrespectful to all the workers that got eaten by him. Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town, avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls, and low, low prices. God damn it. Why does everyone sound like a commercial in this game? That's right, because corporates have corporations have taken over. <laughs> I mean, I am technically Alex Hawthorne of the un Unreliable. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name's oh. Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna make a little money while I'm here. I just call for Gravedigger. This place looks like it's falling to pieces. Yeah, I'm looking to make a little money when I'm here. Got a knack for being discreet. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's money to be made, long as you keep your nose clean. Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites. We rent them from the company. Renting. Wow, means really? Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see? Wow, that's that's horrible. 
company policy. If it was up to me, I'd put the whole town ten feet under, free of charge. Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. He may want to twist his arm a little. Oh, okay. Why is Abernathy a special case? He just is. Look, I don't want to get into it. Just make sure he pays up. Oh, boy. I mean, well, where can I find these people? Conrad's got a barbershop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy... I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. Yeah, yeah, I'll be back. Cool. Well, I guess I better put that quest up. Let's see. Let's set that as active. There we go. Cool. All right, there's a marker there, a marker there. Any other markers? No? No? Okay, well... Off I go then. All right, I guess the first place is going to be in here, the Edgewater uh, employment community. Wait, unless that's the name of the town. Oh, it is. Well, let's just see how the inside of this town looks. Yeah, let's not walk around with my gun out, thanks. Ooh, what's back here? Hello? Oh! Sweet! There's stuff back here. This is a pretty cool town. They start asking you for some medicine. Come tell me. I'll set them straight. What? Who? Okay, there's one there. Two, three, and then there's somebody. Oh, I missed somebody. Hold on. Let's go start with this guy first. Saltuna Cannery. All right, stop with the guns. We don't need the guns right now. Okay. Oh, that other marker was like all the way off to the side. So. So let's go ahead and see who's over here. I think this was Ludwig. If this is the, oh yeah, Ludwig Miller. Got it. Yeah, because he said it was over by the landing pad. I didn't realize the landing pad was over here. Ow! Okay. Hey, Ludwig! Yo, Luddy! No, I don't... I want to talk to you. Thank the law. I've been requisitioning backup for months. Guess the boss finally came to his senses. You ever swung a truncheon? Let me see your rifling stance. I want to make sure you're up to snuff. I'm sorry, what? I'm talking about mechanical soldier. Cold, heartless automatons made of iron and lie. Uh... <laughs> yeah, gotta watch out for those mechanicals. That's right. That's what I've been saying. We gotta square our shoulders. And stand ever vigilant. Okay. Auto mechanical. Creatures forged in the fires of malevolence. I seen them over by the old power plant. Clattering about. Firing at the birds. Orchestrating their uprising. Oh no, not the birds. When the swarms of mechanicals come clanging on over that hill, where will you be? Cowering beneath your cot? Or standing? Shoulder to shoulder with the resistance. 
Um, well, first of all, I if, I need your graveside fees. I told Silas I'd pay my dues if he agreed to join the resistance. Guess this means he's finally heard the calling. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know what? Yeah, that's true. He really did. Yep, he sure did. And you know what? He's asking for a little extra to uh, furnish a resistance with mechanical repellent. Mechanical repellent. A stroke of inspiration from the law itself. Yeah, I've been saving up a couple of bits for just such a project. Cool, cool. Hey, I'll just, you know, I got to go. I got to make sure to, uh, you know, go give that extra money to um, the guy. Long live the resistance. Well, that was fun. One down, three to go. <laughs> I'm a liar. <laughs> liar. Ooh, a vending machine. Taste the freedom with spacious choice. Now with extra added artificial ingredients at no extra cost. Uh, hex go 20 or higher allows you to sell items to the vending. I can sell items to the vending machine. That's awesome. Okay. I don't know what any of this does yet, and I don't know if I need to, like... Is my hack actually that high? Is it really? <laughs> A loaf of bread! Oh, no, right now. Uh, armor mod, increase your tech skills. Oh, these are. Oh, these are okay. These are bots for the weapons and armor and stuff. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Armor mod armoring increases body armor and helmet armor. Uh, don't want that. I do want this though. I do not have enough bits though. Well, we're gonna have to work on that. But first, I got a job to do. Let's get back into the colony. So, windows adds beauty and... No, I didn't get to see the rest of that. All right. Who is closest? That one right there. But... I can work my way, way around so I can go from here, go for Phyllis and then Martin and then Conrad. So let's start with Phyllis. Actually, I should probably leave Martin for last since he seems to be the most difficult one. Oh, she in here. Let's put away my gun. Why? Why are you glowing? Oh, hello. Uh, um, when life gives you lemons, consider it a free trial from your friends at Space's Choice. Oh my God. Ooh, gimme. <gasps> I didn't realize I stole it, but well, I. Mm, mm. Hello? I thought I heard a thud. No? Okay. Well. I mean... I mean, I don't really need the ammo. I mean, not. All right. Hello there. Nice weather we're having out there. Hey, have you seen Phil? No. Oh, okay. Okay, bye. Oh, you must be Phyllis. You the new worker? Whatever. Make it quick, Tenderfoot. I'm busy. Hi. Graveside fees. I'm here to collect. Shit. Silas still on about that. Here, take the fees. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell Reed I was late on my payment. 
These papers aren't signed in your name. Because they're not my fees and not my grave site. Guy I worked with shot himself. I paid the bill. Oh. Uh, that's kind of you, I guess. I could do without the sarcasm. Wasn't acting out of the goodness of my heart. Law requires delinquent gravesite fees to be paid by the deceased party's closest living relative, which meant me. Shame, though. Eugene was a good worker. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'll leave you be. All right. Two more people. Two more people in... Also... I gotta make sure to snooze that ad because I, I don't want to go into an ad like right now. No ads. No ad. There we go. All right. Trying to extend the time before because I'm kind of getting like near the end of my stream anyway for the night. But I do want to make sure I get to at least these people before we save and, and end of the night. So... All right. Yeah, we're definitely going to leave um, Abernathy for last. Hello! Hi, Conrad! Merciful law. Is that a marauder's outfit? I don't want you wandering into my shop wearing something you've lifted off a corpse. Please don't touch anything. Your hands are probably crawling with germs. Physical hygiene recapitulates moral hygiene. Cleanliness is next to lawfulness. Ugh, just give me your fees and I'm, I'm done. We don't believe in free anything here in Edgewater. We're a spacer's choice company. I'm Conrad. You will report to me if your hair fails to meet spacer's choice aesthetic standards. You will also report to me in the event of your death, whereupon I will clean and prepare your remains for interment. Wait, so you're the barber and the mor and the mortician? Hey, uh, listen, I just need my dues. Ah, gravesite fees. Silas and I had talked about this at length. I thought I'd made it clear my pecuniary situation precludes the necessary restitutions. <laughs> you mean you're broke? As broke as pie crust, friend. Bitless, indigent, destitute. I simply cannot afford it. I am a blemish on the prosperity of our fair settlement. When I expire, I expect Silas to toss my body into a ditch. Uh, you have a very loose definition of the word prosperity. Uh, you know what? Yeah, don't be so hard on yourself. I have to be, if only to prepare myself for my inevitable dressing down at the hands of corporate. Tell Silas... I can't afford to pay and that I fully expect to have my medical rights revoked for this dereliction with my apologies. Uh, yeah, just give Silas an eye or you. I mean, not a bad idea, but I'd need some kind of collateral. My pair of lucky clippers. No, that won't do. Your idea intrigues me, but I'm afraid I don't have anything to give Silas. I'm open to suggestions. Uh, yeah, if I can think of anything, I'll let you know. That's that's cool. I mean, you could always pay with your soul. Much obliged. Or I could pay for you and then you'll just owe me a favor. That might be the way I have to go. All right, let's deal with Mr. Difficult. Just get my knife ready, just in case. Yes, Mr. Thompson. I'm fine, Mr. Thompson. Never been healthier. All right, let's see what your deal is. Oh, sweet merciful law. A marauder's in my domicile. Is there a reason you're running around outfitted like one of those monsters? Did Mr. Thompson send you to put the fear in me? Well, you tell Mr. Thompson I'll be right at my post. Tomorrow. Uh, bright and early tomorrow. Because I'm definitely not plagued. As spry as a spring chicken. <laughs> That's old Abernathy. Oh, boy. Uh, yeah. This guy's a little off his kilt. Off the off kilter. Uh, I'll 
tell me what's got you so nervous. You some sort of wandering alienist? Walking into a man's own domicile, pestering him about his mental state? Is... <laughs> Look, I you st oh God, just give me the grave sight fees. Silas knows, doesn't he? That's why he sent you. That's why he wants me to pay up. He knows. <laughs> he told me everything. How long did you think you could keep a secret like that? I know everything. Sounds like he's already told you. You may as well hear it from me. I'm dying. I'm not long for this world. The date of my expiration is fast approaching, and soon I shall be ushered through the great cannery in the skies. I'm sorry? It's plague. Has to be. Silas knows. He knows I got one foot in my grave, and now he wants to charge me for the other one. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure it's all very tragic and heartbreaking. Pay me so I can get out of here. <laughs> no, I'm sorry to hear that. You are? Oh. Wow, first time anyone's ever told me that. I'll pay your fees. I don't want any trouble from Silas. But if you could see a way to freelancing for me, I could really use the help. Um, sure. There's a cache of anthracillin tucked away in the old community center. Powerful stuff. Stronger than what we got, anyway. I need you to break in, nab that medicine, and bring it back to me. Uh, hold on. I'll do what I can. I tried medicating myself with Adrena time. Didn't do much for me, as far as I can tell. Anyway, I can't just buy medicine. Distribution of medicine is strictly prohibited to any workers beneath the acceptable margin of health. Company policy. Oh. Uh... <laughs> Come on now, I have to eat a look a day over 90. Tell myself the same thing every morning. You've seen those young workers at the cannery? What with their unbent spines and pristine knee joints? I can't compete with that. Oh, I feel that. I feel that. I assume there are guards. You will not find any guards within sight of that old place. Marauders, on the other hand. Oh, I can just kill them. That's fine. It is a reality of life in the Vale. Grass is brown, sky is gray, marauders are outside the walls. Yep, yep, I think I've had enough so you'll do it then? Yeah, yeah, hang on, I'll think about it. You know what, I'll consider your offer. Oh, that's not the way out. You're making a mistake working for Abernathy. Look, I haven't agreed to anything, Esther Blaine. Excuse me. Oh, hi. I'm Esther Blaine, Spacer's Choice Actuary. I overheard your talk with Abernathy. I hope you're not thinking about getting him that medicine. Abernathy is a well-known hypochondriac. Anthracillin is wasted on him. You're better off selling it to me instead. Uh... <laughs> he's medical. He's got symptoms of something. You're saying it's psychosomatic? All I'm saying is Abernathy's worked in this town longer than some of us been alive. How do I put this gently? He's, uh... He's got a lot of cobwebs up in his attic. Uh, yeah, well, I mean... You gotta tell me what you need it for. I probably shouldn't tell you. Don't want you implicated for what I'm trying to do. Well, then I don't want to get it for you. <laughs> That's not shady at all. I love that option. Yeah, let me worry about that. All right. Here's a summary. A lot of sick people in this town, and we don't have the medicine to treat them all. Can't reach out to corporate without crossing a river of red tape, so I'm reaching out to you. Sammy, I did something I've never done in a Hoyo game before. You bought points, didn't you? You did it, didn't you? You bought the battle pass before you completed it. <laughs> I only halfway called it. I was thinking you bought some points. You bought the whole ass battle pass. All right, fair deal. Fair enough. I usually only buy it when I've com already completed it. You know what though? Fair, absolutely fair. That game is so good. Uh, let's see. Again, you need someone to smuggle your medicine under the table. Or Abernathy's paying me for my trouble. Can you match his offer? I'm paid better than Abernathy. 
Whatever he's giving you, I will do you one better. Yeah, I'll consider it. That's all I can ask of you. All right, so I got two ways to go with this. Great. All right. I mean, let me see because I can still talk to him. What can I do for you? Let's see. Um, sound like you've had some training. I know a thing or two about medicine. Oh, am I in the company of a fellow doctor? Uh, <laughs> only if we use the term doctor loosely. I am a Spacer's Choice Certified Surgeon, and if you must know, I can stitch a severed thumb with a 58% chance of avoiding gangrene. Let's see. I need to repair my ship. A ship? Dear me. You seem to have lost the ability to distinguish between reality and fantasy. This is what happens when you let your imagination run wild. I don't approve of fantasizing. It's a dreadful habit, corrosive to the mental faculties. You ought to let the vicar take a look inside your head. <laughs> but I need like two more refills worth of battery to hit 36 so I can continue the story. And I didn't want to wait because by the time I got enough, a new day would take over. Oh, jeez. Hey, like I said, fair enough, though, you know? I, tr I, I try not to, like, go, like, overly. And I want to use my three social invites for the day. All on Victoria Housekeeping, which I think I'll unlock after the story stretch. I do. I want, like, I want all the members of Victoria Housekeeping. That entire team looks so awesome. Your vicar? Vicar Maximilian. Our man from the OSI, here to spread the message of scientism like a soothing balm upon a feverish head. Or so you'd expect. You'll find him in our local church, probably neglecting his duties. Oh, great. <laughs> I have some questions. Go ahead. Um, what do you know about this plague? The plague's come at us with a vengeance this year. Lost six workers in as many months. I wouldn't call them good workers, mind you. If they were any good, they'd have been treated. Still, it is a shame. Uh, why don't you treat all your workers? Company policy, friend. We don't have enough medicine to treat all of us, so we treat the best among us. Wow. You know, though, God, it's such a, that's such a gray area. It's like a, on one side, that's so terrible. But at the same time, oh God, I just, I, morally, this is so bad. Morally, this is reprehensible. But, I mean, oh God, pragmatically speaking, he's, he's not wrong. And I hate that. Uh, I don't like this guy. I don't want to like this guy. Uh, whose idea was that? Mr. Thompson's brainchild. Have you met him yet? Thoughtful looking fellow, stares out of his office most hours. Yeah, you know what? That's it. I, that's that's enough for me for now. I'm I'm good. I'm good, fam. I'm just gonna go turn in the fees and then call it a day here. So uh you're oh you're pulling for Nekomata? You know what? I did like Nekomata. Nekomata's fast. And I cannot wait to like get her and use her in battle. Would have much preferred any of the four others I don't own. <laughs> I only have one S class right now. It's Soldier Eleven. I have all the other character, all the other A class characters except for one. I think it's uh, oh, what is her name? Penny. Uh, I forget her name. It's one of the um, the biker gang ones though, not Lucy, but the other one. All right, I got your fees except for one. Grave digging's a fine profession. Always work to be had, and nary a word of complaint out of your clients. <laughs> uh, well, I bought those fees you wanted. You run into any trouble? Let's see. Conrad's barbershop is a yawning pit that swallows his every bit. I keep telling him he should cut a few corners, skimp out on the disinfectant. You gotta put the squeeze on Conrad. Find some dirt on him. Maybe check his back room. Ah. Uh. 
That's the word, extortion. Been on the tip of my tongue all day. Wow, dude, you're okay. Uh, that sounds unscrupulous. Ooh, pretty. That's awesome. I, you know what? Yep, yep, yep. Let's go and see what I can find. Do I have enough time? Yeah, that was like really pretty. All right. Okay, his barbershop's right here. He's still awake. I don't want to like take anything in front of him. Uh, receptionist shot himself. This is oh, this is this is the guy. This is the guy that Phyllis was talking about. Let's see. Conrad, receptionist so shot himself. This is bad. Company's going to have to call it for what it is. Destruction of Space Destroyer's property. Eugene was an asset and somebody has to pay his body price. This is going to ruin us. So I was thinking that we pawn off his teeth. Eugene had a full set of gold teeth. Heirlooms passed down his family or something. You're processing his body, right? Just dig around and pry them out. We sell the teeth somewhere nice and quiet. Use the bits to pay his body price and nobody's wiser. Excuse me? What do you think? Don't write back. In fact, don't talk to me at all. Just give me a special signal next time you see me. Oh, waggle your eyebrows. I... What? That's a guard. I, was that the dirt I needed? What can I do for you? I know about Eugene. Why not use his teeth as collateral for your gravesite fees? Wow, really? You know about Eugene? How? I, yeah, I'm a mind reader. I found a note from Phyllis. Ben, you know Phyllis suggested selling off Eugene's gold teeth. I didn't approve of the idea then, and I don't approve of it now. Eugene's golden teeth were a family heirloom representing three generations of poor dental hygiene. He took them to his grave. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure he won't miss them. That's unthinkable. Eugene's body and all rare earth minerals contained therein are solely the property of Spacer's choice. I can't ask Silas to dig up a man's body and pry a few teeth loose from his jaw just to pay my bills. Can I? Oh, he's thinking it now. <laughs> uh, ask forgiveness from the vicar later. No, he doesn't like the vicar. Uh, you're going to have to. Yes, I suppose I must. Here you are. Gravesite papers affixed with my signature and an IOU. <laughs> uh, I told you Eugene killed himself. What happened? Eugene was not a suicide. He put a bullet in his brain, yes. But that's largely a technicality. I was the one who prepared Eugene's body for interment. I discovered symptoms of the plague on his corpse. And I discovered medicine in his pocket. Lots of medicine. Eugene overdosed on Adrena time, which is known to cause psychosis and paranoia as possible side effects. The paranoia drove him to take his own life. Oh boy. It's a miracle of bureaucracy. If Eugene's death were filed as a suicide, we'd all pay the price for his crime. We can all thank our lucky stars that young Eugene was hopped up on medication and suffered its predictable side effect. I included it all in my official report. I'd like to think I saved Edgewater a great deal of money. We never could have paid the fines associated with a suicide. This town sucks! Excuse me, I... I just have to say something really quick. Wow, this town sucks. This town is all about profit. 
And I... Mm, God! These profit mongers, they'll do anything for money. Jesus Christ. Good Lord. Now let me go turn in these fees and, and get my money. How dare they profit off the backs of, of the poor and downtrodden. Let me go to the Gravedigger and turn in my ill-gotten gains. <laughs> Jeez. Hey, Silas! Don't you go anywhere. Silas, you get back here. Silas, I got your money! Something I can do for you? No, but something I can do for you. Uh, about those fees you wanted. You run into any trouble? All done. Paperwork, fees, and signatures. Reliable work from a freelancer. That's gonna take some getting used to. Uh, yeah, I went out of my way for you. And I'll buy you a drink sometime. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'll hold you to it. Oh, you know what though? I do need to talk to you about Eugene if I can. Something I can do for you. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about Eugene. Huh? What about him? Uh. Yeah. Funny thing, Eugene's body ain't where it's supposed to be. Oh God damn it! He was supposed to commend his body to the earth. I had his grave all dug up and ready, right? And so I thought. I'll just rest my eyes a bit. When I woke up, his body was gone. Spirited away. Vanished. The footprints nearby suggest <clears> that <throat> Eugene was stolen by marauders. Or he rose from the dead. I hope not. Uh, I'll keep an eye out for them then, I guess. Let me know if you find anything. Uh, who do I talk about power regular? Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Cool. I'll be on my way. All right. Well, this is saving. I'm going to go ahead and manually save so that I... Did I save? I saved. Okay, good. Idle camera. Oh! That's kind of nice. Awesome! Oh, I did... I am wearing a Marauder suit, I just realized. Well, let's go ahead and get to the ending screen. I can't stop the ad from, from going, but maybe I can end this really quick. So, to the ending screen we go. Anytime now. There it goes. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try to see if I can find somebody really quick to raid. If not, we'll just go ahead and end it here. Let's see. Let's go to raid channel. Ba 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 ba. Hurry up and load. I'm trying to. I'm trying to beat the ad. Maggie's life. Excellent. Well, Maggie, it is. Let's see. Serena, man. All right. Good. We're setting up for Maggie. All right. Let's hit the time. Let's hit the start raid timer. And I don't have a raid message. So just tell him Sammy sent you. We're gonna start the raid. And it's gonna go ahead and count down. So I'm just wait, waiting for the raid now button to pop up. But we're gonna go ahead and raid uh, Fate Magnet. They are amazing. They're a really good dude. So please, please say hi to them and make sure to sub tell them that Sammy and Hina sent you. But for tonight, have yourselves a wonderful night. Do good, be good. And Sammy Bear is out. Have a good one, everyone.